Are you looking to start a career in cybersecurity? Maybe you're already working in cybersecurity and you wanna know the key skills that you need to be successful. Well, either way, this video is perfect for you. We're gonna talk all about the essential skills that you need to not only start a career in cybersecurity, but also to actually be successful. So if you don't already know, cybersecurity is a fantastic career field that's full of more and more opportunities every single day, and it pays quite well too. In fact, after just a few short years of experience, you could be making well into the six figures. That's a ton of cash for so little experience. Things didn't used to be that way though, because back in the day, as in the early 2000s, cybersecurity was considered an additional job responsibility of people who were working jobs like system administrator within the IT department. Lucky for you, me, and everybody else in cybersecurity, things have changed and we have our own nice place and organizations to specialize in the things that we enjoy. As we go through the skills in this video, I want you to keep in mind that these are just the start of what's required and it's very likely that you're gonna have to add additional skills if you wanna stay relevant, but these are an absolute must. The first skill that you need is the ability to communicate through both written and verbal communication. Interestingly enough, this is probably one of the most overlooked skills in the profession because people get so fixated on learning the technical aspects of things that they don't realize that just understanding the technology isn't enough on its own. For starters, just within your cybersecurity team or department, you're gonna have to communicate a lot through things like instant messaging, email, reports, and presentations. Regardless if it's for knowledge sharing or educational, if you can't write or speak effectively, then you're gonna struggle. So you need to start working on improving your abilities right now. Outside of your team or department, you might deal with other departments, auditors, or even business customers. All three of these are gonna involve communications, and if you can't clearly communicate, then there might be confusion or significant issues that are gonna develop. What if you were helping draft legal verbiage for customers regarding your cybersecurity, but you overcommitted in your phrasing? This is one scenario of many that could cause problems. Skill number two is closely aligned with skill number one, and it's the ability to collaborate across different teams and departments within your organization. This is also tied to relationship building, but you need to be able to develop solutions, make adjustments, and overall just be able to work with other teams and departments. Depending on your organization, there might be a huge focus on collaborating, but no matter what, it's important that we be able to align with the business strategy and find solutions that support that strategy not just our strategy because it's the most secure. I've got a secret for you. Cybersecurity professionals or teams that can't successfully collaborate with other areas of the business are gonna be seen as obstacles and people are gonna find ways around you. If people start working around you instead of with you, it's gonna be very difficult to get anything done and your life is gonna be pretty difficult. That means it doesn't matter how smart you are, take a piece of humble pie and be a part of the solution. The third skill is all about risk management. Risk management is a skill that you'll continue to develop over time because to get better at it, you really need to gain some experience. For example, one of the reasons why I'm so good at identifying potential risk scenarios is because I've seen quite a bit, so I have a large memory repository to pull from. If you're just starting your career, you won't be able to predict or see potential issues in the same way because you just haven't experienced the same pains. Certainly, that doesn't mean that you can't learn more about how to identify and calculate risk but it's gonna come with time. Risk management becomes an increasingly important skill as you climb the corporate ladder into more senior and potentially leadership positions, but there's no reason why you can't start learning about it right now. So this is a free course on the NIST RMF or Risk Management Framework, which is just one of the frameworks that's out there that focuses on risk management, but especially if you're gonna deal with the government or the military in the United States, this is gonna be crucial for your job. So again, I'll leave the link in the description for this and you can check it out but this is three free hours of training on risk management. If you're enjoying the content so far, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That way YouTube knows you enjoy the content and it's helpful for other people. Also, let's take a second to talk about Cyber Training Pro. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then CyberTrainingPro.com is the perfect platform for you. At Cyber Training Pro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. 
With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at cybertrainingpro.com and start building your future today. All right, let's get back to the content. Fourth up is the ability to adapt. One thing that's guaranteed in cybersecurity is that things are gonna change. Whether that means new technologies, new techniques, or new vulnerabilities, things are always changing for us. Due to the constant changes in cybersecurity, you have to be willing to be a lifelong learner to make sure you stay current. A good example is cloud, because 20 years ago, cloud wasn't a thing, and now it's quickly emerging as the way to do business for a lot of organizations. I'm not saying you need to know everything, but you should always be striving to learn something new. Personally, I use job postings and news articles as methods to identify trends or things that I need to start or continue learning about. You might also see changes in organizations that inspires you to learn about something. So one of the things that I'll do for job postings is I'll actually go to websites like Indeed.com and LinkedIn.com or any other job searching website and I'll search for job titles that I'm interested in. So for instance, if I go on here and I search for cybersecurity engineer, I will actually go through these different job postings and I'll look for certifications that are listed. So if I click on any one of these and then I go through here, I'll be able to find certifications. I'll also be able to find skills that companies are looking for and that helps me keep track of what's trending and what might be emerging. So if we scroll down here, usually you have to go to the bottom and you'll be able to find different things. So for instance, this has Security Plus or CISSP. It also talks about AWS and Microsoft's Azure. So keep that in mind. The other thing that I'll do is I'll go to websites like darkreading.com or any other news website that covers cybersecurity, and I'll look through the articles that are in here, and I'll see if they list any technologies, either consistently or just in general, and I'll use those to help shape what stuff I learn. The next skill is the ability for critical thinking. In cybersecurity, you're going to find yourself in complex situations that require difficult decisions. In order to make a good decision, certainly experience helps, but also having the ability to analyze the situation and ask the right questions is going to help you be successful. Clearly, the more that you know overall, the better ability you're going to have to understand the inner workings of technologies and where potential issues might exist. But you also need sound reasoning because something might seem fine on the surface, but some factors might make you question things more. Understanding data and using that to make decisions is going to help guide you in the direction. And of course, this is something that you're going to continue to practice throughout your entire career. Keep in mind that you might also have to document and justify decisions to people such as management, other departments, customers, and auditors, or even the authorities. So this is definitely an important skill. Question of the day. Which of these skills do you think is the most important? Did I miss an important skill? Let me know down in the comment section below. As you can see from the skills that we discussed in this video, it's not all about the technical skills that are ultimately gonna determine your level of success in cybersecurity. In fact, we didn't mention any technical skills because they aren't what's going to directly determine whether you're successful or a failure in cybersecurity. Use the skills in this video to help drive your career towards your ultimate objectives and you won't be disappointed. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check in the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time.